Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at how to import your Actor Core characters into Blender and apply motions to them. Actor Core models and motions can easily be used in many different types of projects, ranging from architectural pre-visualization to game design and CG film. In Actor Core, you can use the categories on the left to quickly find the type of character that you're looking for. I'm going to choose this chic looking dude first and then proceed to go to the motion category. Here I'm going to enter talking in the search field and then narrow it down to a male character motion. Once you find a motion, just click on it and it will automatically preview the motion on the right. From there, you can just click on the download button, which will prompt you to choose a character rig to align the motion to. However, keep in mind that if you're downloading a motion for a custom created character, you'll want to choose either the male or female dummy characters. In this case, we'll just choose the same rig for the character we chose. In the export options, you can choose to export blend shapes for facial animation. In terms of textures, since we're exporting to Blender, we're going to uncheck the Embed Texture option. Just choose the Blender Export preset since we're exporting to Blender. Below that, you'll find a link which leads you to where you can find the Blender Auto Setup tool, which will help you save tons of time when importing your characters into Blender. The zip file that contains the CC3 Blender tool can be found here. Let's move on to import our character into Blender now. You'll first need to ensure that you install the Auto Setup add-on. To do this, go up to Edit, then Preferences, and Add-ons to install. In Add-ons, you'll need to activate the tool for everything to work properly. From there, you'll want to use the CC3 Blender tool panel and select Import Character. This is the easy part. You'll see your character imported right away, although you'll still need to do some minor adjustments to get the materials optimized. In the Shader tab, you'll still need to tweak the specular value in the Metallic node a bit. Once this is done, you can proceed to go into the CC3 Blender tool panel once again and open the material parameters to adjust the ambient occlusion to a lower value. Now that you have a good visual on how the actor core characters will look in both EV and Cycle Render, we can then look at importing the actor core motion into Blender. You can do this from the File menu, proceed to Import, then FBX. From there, you'll see the character's armature in the viewport which we can move aside for now. Once you select the armature, you can switch to the timeline and take a look at the dope sheet. Then, choose the action editor in order to observe and edit the different blend shapes that were exported with your character to combine them with the exported motion. You can play back to get a preview of the exported motion from Actor Core. To test the blend shapes, you can go into the Shape Keys section to see all of the blend shape names and adjust the values to see the respective effects on your character's face. If you want to animate those effects, then you need to go into the timeline. In the timeline, you can select Auto Keying in order to add a different keyframe for every change you make to blend shapes along the timeline. In this case, I'm going to use the eye blink value in order to have my character blink at intervals in the lead frames of our project. You can see the results when I play back. If you're looking for a fast and easy animation tool to refine and edit your motions, iClone has a complete arsenal of tools at your disposal. The Edit Motion Layer tool allows you to make specific tweaks to the character motions using Human IK and FK on your character for quick and easy results. You can even go down to the finger level. And the Aculips feature provides an easy and intuitive workflow that can better help you to get quick and accurate lip sync on your character. In addition, you can also take a look at using facial mocap with your iPhone, which is an easy yet professional way to achieve incredibly realistic facial animation in minutes. Combine the two and you have a complete professional animation that is usable in everything from a video game NPC character to an architectural pre-visualization. That's it for this video guys, hopefully you find it useful, and I'll see you in the next one.